Hi besties, welcome back to my channel. I'm on the highway right now. If you're from Toronto, I'm on the DVP, which you know isn't usually the most fun highway to be on, but traffic's not bad. I'm on my way to therapy, and I'm excited. I like therapy a lot. It's in person now, which is nice. I haven't gone in two weeks because I had a cottage weekend trip last week. So um, yeah, I have not had a chance to go which sucks because last week was very eventful and I wanted to talk to her and I didn't get to. I was like, damn. So yeah, so anyway, so I'm on my way to therapy. I want to give you guys like life updates, mental health check-in. I haven't done a mental health check-in in a minute, so I guess that's what we're doing today. So mental health, it's at a 10 out of 10. It's at a 10 out of 10. I'm so happy about that because honestly, oh, I was in a little bit of a dark place months and months ago. And I feel like I've been so far from that place for so long and like honestly Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus Christ because I was spending like days in my bed crying for so long And I thought that was normal and it wasn't It wasn't finally divine intervention did its thing and my life changed and now I feel happy and I'm really 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 happy about that so what's going on in my life right now a couple things yesterday I was supposed to have what one might call a date an outing with someone new something fun and fresh you know what I mean I don't think it was a date to be honest I think um, it was more of an outing a hangout and um, I was looking forward to it I was and it never happened <laughs> it never happened you know why because men because men, men do that. You know what they do? They make plans with you and then they don't ask you on the day of or follow up with you on, on the plans. Anybody else experience that? Because what what is dating? Like, what is dating, guys? I've been in a relationship for three years and I'm like back to like talking to people and like having fun, you know, like I'm single. And um, men really just ask you to hang out and then never hang out with you. It, it, for what, you know? Like, what, you did this for what? I don't get it. I don't get it because it's like why do you ask me? I didn't ask you so like what's the point and all that, you know And they just kind of act like they never did and it's it's weird because I used to deal with that a lot with this one guy And he would always ask me to hang out and then like I'd like look forward to the day Let's say it was a Tuesday. I'd look forward to Tuesday. Tuesday comes around 11 a.m. Haven't heard from him 1 p.m. Nope 3 p.m. Nope 6 p.m. I'm like, oh, maybe it's a dinner. Maybe it's a dinner 9 p.m. Uh, nothing and I'm like uh, where are we supposed to hang out you know and like guys don't understand that girls remember these things you know like girls plan outfits girls you know they have to get ready luckily I didn't do any of that but like I could have I could have so um yeah I was I was definitely just like surprised because I didn't he didn't strike me as a type to be honest um but it was okay it's fine we just met so it's not a big deal I didn't like it but it's whatever um, so that happens that kind of set me off yesterday because I was annoyed it didn't affect like me or my mental health or my mood or anything at all uh, I feel great I feel really good so I'll tell you why um, one we found an apartment we found an apartment we have an apartment hunting vlog that I made with Brenda and I that um, it does not show the unit that we chose. We're currently going through the paperwork process and God willing, we get approved um, because I love it so much. It's literally right downtown. It's exactly the area that I wanted. And I want it so bad. I love the apartment so much, guys. Like, I love it. So that's making me happy. Um, I'm having fun. I'm like seeing people casually, which is so fun. I haven't experienced that in so long. And like the last time I was dating, I was an insecure little, I was insecure. Let me just say that. <laughs> I was insecure. So I didn't know how to date. I didn't know how to navigate dating productively. I didn't know how to, I just, I was different. You know, I also was not like, I don't know, man. I just like tolerated so much. So now that I'm dating and I actually like love myself, it's so much more fun because it's like, a, you waste less time. B, you have more fun because you're not insecure about the dates. You look forward to them because you're like, you know, like you can carry yourself well. I don't get nervous. I have fun, you know? My weekly therapy sessions are now in person. So that has made me really happy because I prefer in person over phone. Um, my favorite restaurant just opened up 
two minutes away from my house I've always had to drive to go to that restaurant and now like it's so close it was always a little bit of a drive now it's, it's really really close um, I have a muffin from McDonald's yummy yummy um, what else is making me happy oh I've made new friends I made new friends a couple of them are through the drive with me which is so dope I met some really cool people this season oh my god if you don't know the drive with me series I'm so sorry my mouth is full it's my series on my other channel where I sit around and interview people of each zodiac sign it's so fun to film I freaking love that series but I've been meeting so many cool people and it's just made me really happy so that's cool I made new friends um, I'm going to yoga now with my friend that I met on Bumble BFF if you guys don't remember me mentioning her we clicked really well we're like homies now so we go to yoga I'm going to yoga today oh my god therapy and yoga in one day who am I <laughs> yeah I'm just happy man like I'm happy like I don't know I feel good maybe I'm manic <laughs> I'm kidding I'm half kidding no not kidding I'm fine I'm fine but um yeah life feels good right now i'm just waiting on that financial abundance i have this like overwhelming internal happiness that i haven't really felt before <laughs> it's 11:44, angel numbers i just filmed a video on how to contact your spirit guides and angels hey guys mm, this muffin's good you guys ever eat mcdonald's muffins blueberries bomb I want to get back into sewing. I haven't sewed in a while. My parents would be upset. Because they bought me the sewing machine for Christmas or something. My birthday, I don't know. And they said, you're not going to sew. And I said, yes, I am. I haven't sewed in a month. I hope they're not watching this. But I do sew. I just haven't done it in a month. Because I was, like, really busy. It's the end of summer. Oh, it's fall, guys. Mm. Oh, another reason why I feel happy is because I went to the cottage recently a couple days ago i came back a couple days ago and um it was a really good getaway we we're out in the countryside you know doing country gal things and um it was really fun it was really fun my best friend's birthday was the reason why we went oh fuck my muffin it was a great time country gals I also feel closer to my family which is really nice I haven't seen them in two weeks because the country the country the cottage was this weekend so it was a week before that I went I'm going tomorrow 444 I'm going tomorrow we spent a really nice time together me my sister my dad and my mom we went house hunting because they're looking for a house downtown Toronto and um we spent the day together it was so fun like we like saw a bunch of houses together we bonded we drove all together in the same car we went to italy had a nice dinner we went to go visit my grandpa we like it was really cool because like we went from looking at like homes in toronto downtown toronto um which were really beautiful and expensive and then like where my grandpa was um that was the area that my dad used to live in so we, we went to go visit his shop and my dad used to live in that area and like it's just such a difference in worlds um like the the homes we were viewing in the morning versus like where he grew up when he came to canada it was just so different and it makes you really think like damn like my parents came far you know they put in work to get to where we are <laughs> to where they are and it just like gave me this really big appreciation and gratitude for my family and just like spending time with them was so awesome I should probably say that to them. I think I did mention it, but like, I didn't like say it like this, you know? It was so cool. And a couple days ago, my sister, um, a couple days ago, my sister's boyfriend invited us over for dinner. So we went to his house, which is gonna be my sister's house, like pretty soon, you know? Cause they're gonna move in together. So um, that happened and that was cool. So my cousin, and I went to go visit my sister and go see and get to know her boyfriend a little bit better and and just like spend time there and see the house and 
that was interesting that was literally like yesterday or like two days ago um but yeah so like things are good right now you know i feel like when things are good with my family a lot of things in life feel more balanced and um i feel good i feel good my friends and i are having all good relationships i have no conflict in my life right now i spent years having conflict every other fucking week that now it feels good to have zero conflict and just feel at peace with all my relationships and everything that i'm doing you know it feels good i i feel like this is what i deserve and this is what i've wanted and this is what everyone should have peace 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 of mind peace 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 but yeah okay i'm getting pretty close to my therapy appointment and um i think i need five minutes to debrief all these thoughts before i head into the session so i'm gonna go but i hope you guys enjoyed this video this catch-up um again 10 out of 10 feeling good mental health is is great anxiety is barely ever a thing lately which is beautiful absolutely beautiful um but yeah i want you guys in the comments to tell me where your mental health has been lately and give me an update how are you feeling how's your uh, anxiety how's your mental health where are you out of 10 on a scale of 10 what are you, what are you feeling currently I want to know. Spill the tea, sis. Let's have a little chit chat. I want to know, so make sure you leave a comment um, telling me all your business, okay? Okay. Thanks so much for watching and thanks for caring. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye, guys.